Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Larry and Mike Show. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce my special guest, Mayor Barrett Peterson of Franklin Park. Thank Barrett, you, Larry. Welcome to the show. Glad to have you. Thank you, Larry. Um, Barrett has had his show. You've had a show. Illinois Issues in Review. Yeah, and I loved your show. Thank you. Can you tell us just a little bit about it before we really get started in, into the interview? Here? Oh, sure. Um, Illinois Issues in Review is, was a, a cable access program right. like yours. Mm -hmm. um, and the uh, real inspiration for me starting the program was Bill Wolt, um, right. who um, is probably one of the longest lasting public access users in American history. Um, he, you know, has produced uh, thousands of programs. Oh yes. And I finally started my own uh, that was uh, uh, more focused on uh, public service, uh, government, mm -hmm. um, how it operates, politics, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and his was uh, more about uh, shows, Motorsports Crusade. Right. Um, and I did it for about uh, twenty-something years, and had a, a large number of uh, volunteers: Norm Morose uh, and Karen Morose. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Kevin. Uh, uh, McDermott and, and right. his wife were, were very helpful, uh, um, and just hosts of others. I used to watch your show all the time. I Thank loved you. it. You had informative guests and a lot of really great topics. Well, there were 17 people who used to watch my show, and you were one of them. <laughs> I, said, I said, Barrett's on. Oh, I'm going to love Barrett's show. We, i got to watch Barrett's show. And, and you always had some interesting guests on and, and always had a lot, of, a lot of good things to say. Okay, let's get into what, uh, what I was saying, uh, why I asked you to come on to the show today. You know how a lot of issues come up uh, for villages, my village, your village, and mm -hmm. everything like that. And I'm, I'm passionate about this. I want to get the people more involved in what's going on and, and what's being passed, what's not being passed. What ways does, say, your staff or your, you know, get the information out to your constituents? That's a, a great question. We have a wide variety <clears throat> of different ways we do it. Um, obviously, we have a newsletter. Mm -hmm. um, we publish that once a month, and we send it out with a water bill so that everybody has to open the envelope that right. the newsletter's in. Otherwise, they don't get to see their water bill. Right. <laughs> um, and then we have, um, obviously, we collect emails and then send information out uh, mm -hmm. with, by emails. Mm -hmm. um, if it's a uh, public safety issue, okay. uh, then we um, have a, uh, a, a program called Blackboard that uh, phones all of the phone numbers in Franklin Park and lets them know about a public safety issue. Okay. Um, and then we do, um, uh, we have a uh, Facebook page. All right. Um, we get a lot of information mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. on Facebook and we get a lot of information back from our residents by Facebook. And then of course we have the telephone town hall, right. um, which I enjoy doing. Uh, it's about uh, uh, an hour long and okay. all of the land-based lines and Franklin Parker called. The company we use is prohibited from mm -hmm. calling cell phones, so if uh, residents want to be involved in the telephone town mm -hmm. hall, mm -hmm. they can call in. Unfortunately, I didn't remember that number tonight, but if they want that number, call the village, call my office right. at 67847 okay. 671 mm -hmm. 8235. All right. And if you didn't write that down or you can't remember, just call the village hall and ask for the mayor's office, and we'll give you the phone number that you call in on the telephone town hall. That's how we get information out, mm -hmm. getting them involved in other things is a different issue. Now, you have your own website. Village of Franklin Park yes. has their own website, too. So if they wanted to go to the website, mm -hmm. they could, too, because that information would be there also. Is that right? That's correct. And they okay. can pay uh, uh, bills on the website. Oh, right. Okay, great. And they can print out forms. So if they're mm -hmm. selling a home, mm -hmm. um, they oh. can fill out the pre-sale ins mm -hmm. uh, inspection form. And we are just in the process now of making these forms so that they could be filled out right online. Oh, that's excellent. Isn't yeah. it, ma'am? Because yeah. then, then, then you can read what the yeah. form actually <laughs> that's says. That's right. Now, does that go along, uh, Barrett, with the transparency issue I keep hearing all uh, about these days? You, know, you hear a lot about it all over the place. Right. And right. You hear that... about it in Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. You hear about it in the state of Illinois. Um, Illinois has two uh, very uh, uh, powerful tools for the public. Okay. Uh, one is the Open Meetings Act, mm -hmm. which um, requires that any type of decision or even discussion on a particular issue be held at a public meeting that is opened to the public mm -hmm. um, and um, any information that the village has is accessible to the public through the Freedom of Information Act. Oh, okay. And so um, our village clerk is busier than he wants to be, <laughs> uh, responding to uh -huh. freedom of information requests. And we get 
freedom of, of information requests from Chicago Tribune reporters, oh, okay. um, Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. reporters, mm -hmm. universities, mm -hmm. uh, people that are looking for information maybe to write about. And then we also have people that um, maybe are concerned about how a contract was um, was issued. Okay. Then they can uh, get copies of all of the correspondence, emails that right. we have, phone calls.